Well, good evening and uh, welcome in to the Brotherhood Sports Podcast. Uh, my name is Nick, your host of the podcast. Thank you so much for joining me uh, tonight. I look forward to jumping in a conversation with you and just getting to know you a little bit more also. Um, you know, before we get started, I'll ask you to give me a brief introduction about yourself, then we'll jump into our conversation. And after that, I'll save this video and then share it out and let other people get to know you as well. So thank you again. So yeah, just give me a brief introduction and we'll jump right in. Yeah, well, uh, my name is Audrey LeClaire. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I just graduated from the University of Michigan, and I am transferring to ASU to play softball for uh, my last year of eligibility. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again for joining me. So yeah, let's start off with talking about that journey. You know, like you said, you uh, you started out at Michigan there, and now, you, like you said, you're going to end up there at Arizona State, uh, your your home state there. So kind of just take me through the journey from Michigan till, till now. Yeah, so my dad went to Michigan, so I grew up a Wolverine. Um, also, grew up in Arizona, so <laughs> grew up going to uh, Arizona State softball games. Uh, so yeah, I got recruited when I was fourteen uh, to go to Michigan, and ended up going there. Loved my four years there, uh, and then just because of COVID, uh, I got presented the unique opportunity to pursue my master's and yeah. I wanted to set at home where my career started and kind of finish it where, you know, I watched girls on the big stage for the first time. Awesome. Well, thank you for that. So now uh, you, what you talked about getting recruited, obviously uh, you, that's happened before the rule change there. So it's kind of, it's still kind of crazy to hear people talk about getting recruited when they're in middle school, you know, yeah. um, but uh, kind of talk to me about when you kind of knew, like that, hey, like this sport, you know, this is something you really want to do. You talked about going to games. Mm -hmm. um, talk about just kind of when you knew, like you wanted to start pursuing this more seriously. Yeah, so I was a multi-sport athlete to a T. Uh, my dad had me do everything. <laughs> um, in high school, I played four sports. I did softball, basketball, track and swim. Oh, nice. Um, wow. Yeah, so I was fortunate enough to go to a smaller school so I was able to participate in all of that yeah. um, I think if I went to a bigger school that would have been a little bit more difficult <laughs> but um yeah so I think with softball I played baseball first and then uh, one of the parents told us to check out softball and we did that and I had to be forced to go to my first practice I really didn't <laughs> want to I was nervous I think any kid would agree with that but um, no, I, I fell in love with it. It was really fun. It kind of was this thing that pushed you where you weren't the best all the time. And so yeah. I, I wanted to be the best and I was a very competitive kid and I was very hard on myself. So I really wanted to be better. So I think, you know, it kind of just took off with that sport, um, the most. I got you. Well, thank you for, oh, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, but especially with the recruiting like, I know that it's changed, but you kind yeah. of had to commit to a sport early. So, you know, it's one of those things where you had to make that decision early. But I think, obviously, I made the right decision. So <laughs> happy, happy with that. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I would say I would say you made the right decision now. So yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that. So now uh, let me ask you, you know, this could be on the field or off the field, you know, either way. But what is something for you that you've really been like really focusing on lately and really trying to work on and improve that part? Yeah. Uh, what I am trying to improve on right now is my mentality sort of on and off the field when it yeah. comes to softball. Uh, I think it is no secret, especially with this past few years, that mental health is like such a huge thing when yeah. it comes to playing sport, especially a, a game of failure. Um, college has really introduced me to that. And, you know, they gave you a lot of resources while you were there. And I was very fortunate enough to explore those. So that's something I'm working on is just like maintaining my balance on and off the field when it comes to viewing softball, um, just so that I, you know, it doesn't eat at me if I, you know, yeah. make the last out of a game or, you know, it doesn't get me too high if I hit the walk off home run of the game. So just kind of maintaining that balance and growing into my maturity as a fifth year, um, just kind of, kind of trying to build that so I can bring that into the team uh, this upcoming year. I got you. And yeah, and I think obviously, like you said, it's very important. And there are, you know, uh, like one thing I've learned about talking to people that are especially already in college, that there are great resources that are coming available more and more now. Um, you know, I, I talk a lot about it on this pod, this channel. Like I, I've actually had conversations where it's just about mental health, you know, because so, so many people, especially in high level athletics, no matter what you do, um, struggle with that. And so I want to I go into my next question, which you talked about 
obviously, like you said, you're going into that fifth year there. Um, and I want to ask you just like, obviously you still got, you know, some, some softball left to play, but kind of where you sit today, all the softball you have played up until this point, what has, what has it taught you like that you kind of use in your everyday life? Yeah. Uh, wow. That's a really, <laughs> that's a tough question because I think it's just sports in general. It really teaches you a lot. Um, yeah. softball mostly has taught me how to get knocked down and get right back up. Mm, um, yeah. you know, you can't, you can't make an out in a game and then go on the field and take it with you. You can't mess up at work and let it, you know, mess up your next project. So yeah. I think a lot of the lessons that I've had with softball just really reflect on, you know, what I'm going to be dealing with for the rest of my life. You know, there may be, you know, coaches that, you know, say things the wrong way, but they're going to be bosses that say things the wrong way. And, you know, you learn how to ignore the tone, but take the message. And, you know, there are a lot of things that like I've learned from my coaches that may not have been said in the nicest way, but it ultimately resonated with me. And I'm very grateful for the fact that like, you know, they said it to me. Um, so I think that's the biggest lesson is like, a lot of the things that we deal with, like, can all be applied for after. So I'm very yeah. grateful to have that. Yeah. And I think, and like you said, it's those things too. It's like, it can be, sometimes it can be a big thing, but sometimes those little things that you, you know, realize like later on down the road, like, oh yeah, I remember I go back to that time there. Yeah. So now, obviously, you know, you talked about your extra year there and, and you pursuing uh, your degree there also. So, you know, obviously you're a student athlete, you know, not in college, not just playing that softball uh, side of things. So talk to me about how you've kind of managed from when you first stepped on campus at, there at Michigan till now stepping into this year, going into Arizona State. Like, how have you kind of managed that student athlete life, the academic and the athletic responsibilities? Yeah, so it's funny when this question is asked because I uh, I got kicked in the butt pretty hard my <laughs> first semester. Um, it is way different in college. I mean – you know, in high school, you come back from practice at 1030 and you're at the dinner table. You're eating while doing your homework to like yeah. go to bed on time. I think every travel ball player can relate to that. Um, does not change in college, <laughs> but it's a little more difficult because you're kind of surrounded by so many people. So it's like kind of yeah. trying to prioritize that above like, you know, your roommate that you share a dorm with that you would rather watch like, you know, the show you're watching together or yeah. Your team, you're in the locker room, but you're like, I need to focus on this homework assignment that I need to do. Um, so like I said, I got kicked in the butt pretty hard my freshman year. So uh, I actually learned how to use my resources there. I got tutors. I, you know, really use my advisor to like help me time, time manage yeah. all of my things. Um, and my second semester of my freshman year went a lot better. And then so I learned a lot from that, those two semesters of what works and what didn't. Yeah. Uh, I would say... The way that I worked it out and managed it all was to not let it go on the other side. So, mm, like, I didn't yeah. let softball, like, ruin, you know, my time working at school. I kind of separated the two. And yeah. I feel like a lot of people struggle with that with, like, you know, you're at softball and you're just like, I have this exam tonight. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And then you just ruin your practice because you're not, like, focusing in it. Yeah. or you're taking a test and you're worried if you're going to be playing in the next game or whatever. You you just ruin that test without like all of your focus. So that's something I really worked on. And I think if I can give myself a pat on the back, that's what I did really <laughs> well in college. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and thank you for your honesty at first talking about being kind of kicked in the butt there. Cause uh, that's probably my most uh, requested question to ask um, athletes that are already in college and going through it is that, you know, I talked to a lot of recruits um, or people that are, just finished up their recruiting and they're committed and they're ready to, to do all that stuff, you know? Um, and that's kind of one thing they always like ask me to say, Hey, like when you talk to somebody that's, you know, been in college for a couple of years, like ask them that question. Cause I, like you said, it's, it can be a lot, you know, sometimes that just that everything on you. So now I want to ask you, like you said, you're about to start uh, there at Arizona state in your home state there. So talk to me about what you're most looking forward to coming up in your life. Oh, man, there are so many things. I'm so excited about this year. I think going into the transfer portal, I was just so nervous, like, where I was going to end up, what was going to happen, yeah. like, who would be, where I would be, like, <laughs> and so, you know, the opportunity that I got, like, after talking to Coach Bartlett and uh, Coach Kalaitis, like, I, I just had, like, this warm feeling, like, after I talked to them, and, 
you know, we started really thinking about it. And I live 15 minutes away from campus. Like, okay, I nice. love going to that campus. I think the thing that I'm most excited about is how new it is. And, like, the fact that it's such a new opportunity that anything can be done with it. Like, it's all in my hands. Like, yeah. take advantage of this opportunity. Like, I... I am so excited for that. And the girls have been so nice and so welcoming. And the coaches have, you know, texted and checked in on me like every other week, even though okay, I cool. had the number for, you know, maybe a month and a half. Like, yeah. it's just been super, super welcoming. And the thing I'm looking forward to the most is just like, honestly, just starting. I, I want to be the, I want to be the freshman on the field who's like <laughs> learning all of these new things and new drills and, it's just such an exciting opportunity just to like, you know, get fresh eyes on you to get better, but also like, you know, bringing what I've learned from Michigan to here, um, both on and off the field mentally and physically. So I think that's what I'm most looking forward to is kind of meshing myself with all of the newness yet. What I've Yeah. Learned. I love that. I love that. And obviously, like you said, you're from, uh, you know, that the state there, but you know, being in it's, you know, like I'm, I live in the South. So, and then you went, you was at Michigan and Ann Arbor there, um, but I, I mean, I've been to uh, that area in Arizona a few times, actually, when I used to travel a lot more. And uh, it's for, first of all, it's beautiful. I mean, that that yeah. campus is. Um, but it's definitely a, like Ann Arbor is a, a, an awesome place, too. But that winter, I don't see how you can handle that winter, you know. So, like, I'm yeah. sure you're kind of ready to get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because that was one of my things is I didn't want to deal with snow anymore. I didn't want to go outside and see if I had to drive, if I could drive that day. Yeah. but. Um, I will say I did run for the first time here in a while over the summer and it was tough. <laughs> <laughs> 112 today and I decided to run outside. So Yeah. So the first time I, I remember I was going I was in Battle Creek, Michigan and and I'm from I'm from the south. So like, you know, we if we get snow down here we freak out, you know. Yeah. I mean we think we think snow is like a little snowflake, you know. Yeah. But I remember I was see I, I watched this little bitty Honda Civic two door it had a snow plow in front of it. And it was like, I mean, it was getting it. It was like going, I'm like, okay, we're not in the South anymore. Like this place is different here. But yeah. uh, <laughs> so my last part here, I'm just going to have a little fun with you before I let you go. Okay. Nothing to do with softball, really. Uh, right. Give me your favorite movie. My favorite movie. I'm going to give you my top two because it's really okay. close. Remember the Titans and the Goonies. That's my top yes. two. I love, remember, I was actually talking yesterday about somebody with the, like my favorite scene is the when he has them running through the stuff, the Battle of Gettysburg. Yep. And he gives them that speech. You know, that's yep. like my favorite scene of all time. Yep. There. What about a favorite athlete? Like, who is somebody you look up to? Oh, that's a tough one. Someone I look up to. This one's gonna be kind of unorthodox, probably. Um, <laughs> and, um <laughs> it's actually my dad. My dad was a big okay. athlete. Well, he wasn't in college, but. Uh, my dad taught me everything I know about sports. Um, so he's an athlete in my mind. He still plays basketball at the gym in the morning. So he's an <laughs> athlete. And so we'll keep it that way. But I think he's definitely the one that I, I like. Know. That hey, it's always good to to give the the family a shout out. I've got to meet yeah. some great uh, parents through doing this. So I like that a lot. So now, what is your favorite thing to do when you're not you know spending your time doing work or on the field or off the field? What do you like to do besides those things? I love going to concerts. It's actually my fun fact about myself. I've been to 42 concerts. Um, wow, nice. Yeah. Um, I love it. It's actually kind of on a little downhill right now because I've just been everywhere. But, okay, so um, best concert. Best concert. I actually, it's the first concert I went to. I was 10. It was The Killers. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. That's a good first concert. It's a very good first concert. I think it's really what started it. Um, yeah. But, that was definitely my favorite one. Uh, it was with my dad. He's a big Killers fan. So it was like one of the coolest memories I had. So, yeah, I would say that was my favorite concert. Uh, going to concerts or going to movies. I love watching movies. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, that, and, that, and that's really cool, too, to share that with your with your dad there, too. Hmm. So, hey, thank you for having fun with me tonight. I love getting to, to know you a little bit more. I look forward to getting this out there. Uh, good luck with everything coming up at Arizona State. I look forward to kind of seeing what you do there. So thank you and have a good night. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya. Bye.